in this subdivision, Covington Point, we had probably at least three dozen houses flooded. Dale Brunet lives in Covington Point, one of the many areas hit hard by recent flooding events in the Covington area. Most definitely, it does need to be addressed. Uh, something needs to be done so we can improve the drainage. This is really to try to get everybody on the same page, develop some kind of consensus about next steps and who could be responsible in doing what, this, that, or the other. Covington City Councilman Mark Wright is calling for a drainage summit, a meeting of the minds if you will. In the wake of two significant flooding events and with construction booming in and around Covington, Wright says it's time to come up with a workable drainage strategy. So the question is, how do we make sure that as we build in the northern Covington area uh, in West St. Tammany, um, are we prepared to deal with the water and the runoff that will come from those, those developments? I believe all stakeholders need to come to the table and deal with a big picture issue. North of the city, you have parish interests and parish uh, responsibilities. Within the city, you've got city responsibilities. These are state highways. The state needs to maintain uh, the culverts, the right-of-ways, the ditches. For Covington, really all of St. Tammany, creeks and rivers provide both recreation and drainage. The downside comes when the water just can't get out. Are we at a point where these drainage, van drainage arteries can take the water that's coming in? Do what do we need to do to, to ensure that they can handle the water coming through? Many Covington residents, like Dale Brunet, agree. We need to sit down and discuss this issue, and it's gonna—it's not gonna happen overnight. It's gonna take years, but uh, you know, if you can save 40, 50, 60 homes from flooding, it would be to their advantage. The effort now: get everyone to the table, lay out the issues, and start the discussion. Create a flood of information and a strategy moving forward. In Covington, Heath Allen, WDSU News.